Well, the band arrived in Liverpool on the Red Eye from New York, and they were all smiles when I met them. I'd already been coming up from London. I just finished a photo shoot, and I was playing a show in Leeds. We all rendezvoused in Liverpool. Aidan, our tour manager, picked me up from the train station, and we had a rehearsal our first night. All of us together it was great. People were jet lagged, but it's a, it's a nice way to land and to have a night off. And then the next day was also a rehearsal and getting all of the things that we needed to get. Gerald had to get a certain thing that would work with the UK electrical system here for his pedal steel. and So all those bits and bobs worked out. And then we played Liverpool Arena the next day. We went in and it's an incredible feeling to have an entire stadium full of staff there working for you. They loaded un all the gear out for us and I, I stepped into that beautiful big room and I looked at it and I just felt so grateful that this is my life. So we sound checked there, we saw the dressing room, we had a whole suite of dressing rooms, it was incredible. And then we had this lovely catering and went and played our show and when I was standing on the edge of the, of the stage I thought to myself, am I nervous? I just had that moment of checking in with yourself like, is this something that I'm scared to do right now? And I looked out at the row of people as I was just going up on stage and they were kind of hanging over the front row looking at me and thinking, who is this girl? Like, what's her deal? And I just suddenly thought to myself that I was so grateful that I had gone out there and toured for the last three years nonstop, playing in the most ridiculous of places. Like, we're talking so many shows under a flat screen TV with a football game on and pouring rain. Like, nobody there, and the only ones that are there are drunk and hard to win over. And in those conditions, when you learn how to do what you do and who you are, then when you get to the point where you're playing Liverpool Stadium, it's just cake. It's unbelievable. So the show was wonderful, and uh, we played in front of 7,000 people. And then the next day, uh, we had to catch the ferry very early, and all the band was very tired, so we went off to uh, get a good night's sleep then. And we woke up early the next morning and drove down to Hollyhead, Wales. Hollyhead? Hollyhead, Wales. And uh, took the ferry over to Dublin because we were going to play with the Counting Crows the next night. So it was very fun. It was just an easy travel day. And we were all so high after playing the Liverpool Arena. God, what an incredible, an incredible buzz.